Lit blog all the latest from Wembley Stadium Aston Villa face Fulham at Wembley Stadium with a place in the Premier League at stake both teams are featuring in their first ever playoff final the Cottagers are playing just their second match at Wembley, they lost their previous visit in the 1975 FA. Cup final Villa have not faced a shot on target in any of their past three halves of football the team scoring first in the playoff final has gone on to win promotion on each of the past six occasions Aston Villa and Fulham meet in the richest game in English football. Wolves and Cardiff have already earned their place back in the Premier League promised Landon's now one of Villa or Fulham will join them. The two meet at Wembley Stadium with everything on the line and a pound 170m plus prize for the victor. The game kicks off at 5pm as a nice starter to the Champions League final main course a little later on this evening. We will have all the latest updates for you right here. Four minutes ago seven minutes ago Aston Villa and Fulham have shared the victories when they've met this season. John Terry and Albert Adoma scored when Villa beat Fulham 2-1 at Villa Park during the Whites' worst run of the season in October. Slavisa Jokinovic's side regrouped and an undefeated run dragged them up the table. They beat Villa when they came to West London 2-0. Ryan Sessegnon and Floyd Aite scored without return in February. This one is very, very even. 16 minutes ago Aston Villa have four players who have won the playoff final before. Mile Jedinak, James Chester, Emdel Mohamedi, and Ryan Snodgrass. That's four more than Fulham have. Not to mention that Steve Bruce has been victorious in leading teams to the Premier League via the playoffs twice. 22 minutes ago Aston Villa welcome back Ahmed El Mohamedi who missed the second leg of the semi-final through injury. He replaces James Bree as the only change from that match. Aston Villa, Johnston, El Mohamedi, Chester, Terry, Hutton, Snodgrass, Jedinak, Tarihan, Adoma, Graylish, Graben Fulham are unchanged from their heroic 2-0 win against Derby. Fulham, Betty Nethley, Fredericks, O'Day, Ream, Target, McDonald, Johansson, Kearney, Kamara, Sessegnon, Mitrovic. 25 minutes ago 28 minutes ago Jack Graylish inspects the Wembley pitch how much of this turf will he cover this afternoon? Anyone who has watched him recently will tell you it'll probably be most of it. 33 minutes ago 35 minutes ago team news is just 10 minutes away. Neither side arrive in North London with any serious injury concerns so we should expect two full strength sides. 40 minutes ago people would bet on Villa Fulham manager Slavisa Jokinovic says playing the best football in the championship gives his side an advantage against Aston Villa. At the start of the season if someone bet on Villa against Fulham, people would bet on Villa, he said. After the last few months where we showed we can play better and the best football in there. Championship we can be favourites but everything is history and the past. Now is not important who is favourite and who is not, we will see on the end. 43 minutes ago Steve Bruce says he is proud to have repaired Aston Villa's toxic relationship with the fans following a disastrous 2015-16 season which resulted in relegation from the Premier League. Bruce, who took over from Roberto Di Matteo in October 2016, admits his surprise at the culture of the club. Let's be fair, Aston Villa went down with a whimper. There was no association with the players anymore, it had broken, said Bruce.
I remember speaking to the technical director at the first game against Wolves and thought oh, oh, wow. Of course the culture of the club at the time was. I mean, we hadn't won away from home for 18 months. Some of the stats were just absolutely ridiculous. My initial thought, and, technical director, Steve Round agreed with me, was, we've got to stop the rot here and just keep the club in the championship. Would you believe? That's how low I thought it had got. That is why I went down the route of bringing in the likes of, Glenn, Whelan and, Ahmed, El Mohammadi, John Terry of course, Mile, Jedinak, all people who can handle playing for Aston Villa. A lot of work has gone in in 18 months. We've worked tirelessly and changed the squad round hugely and thankfully with winning a few games it's certainly starting to mend with the supporters. It certainly wasn't there when I arrived 19 months ago. There were certainly times when they wanted to rip my head off and rip the head off the players. But now, I do believe they have enjoyed seeing what we have got at the moment. 49 minutes ago Aston Villa received support from former players and some of Hollywood's finest 55 minutes ago a message for Fulham from some of the club's former players. What a team this would be with all these players in their prime. 59 minutes ago whatever happens, Villa are finally in safe hands victory at Wembley would complete a healing process for a club that lay 19th in the championship and felt quite broken when, in October 2016, Bruce became its fourth manager in 12 months one hour ago it is the championship playoff final most neutrals wanted. Sky Sports presenter Scott Minto's EFL column, no one can argue they don't deserve to be there but only one can now win the 100 £170 million game one hour ago after a long and tough campaign, Fulham missed out on an automatic promotion place on the last day of the season to Cardiff. Failing to beat Birmingham at St Andrews meant that Slavisa Jokinovic's side must do something they have never done before, get promoted via the playoffs. After losing 1-0 to Derby in the first leg of their semi-final, Fulham turned the tie around at Craven Cottage through Ryan Sessegnon and Dennis Odoi's second-half goals. Aston Villa lurked around the automatic spots in phases during the season but never looked capable of mounting a serious challenge on the top two. A masterful game plan ensured they advanced past Middlesbrough without fuss, beating them 1-0 at the Riverside then holding on at Villa Park to book a place in this afternoon's Wembley final. Two hours ago good afternoon and welcome to our live coverage of the championship playoff final. Aston Villa and Fulham meet at Wembley Stadium with everything on the line and a pound 170m plus prize for the victor. The game kicks off at 5pm as a nice starter to the Champions League final main course a little later on this evening. We will have all the latest updates for you right here. Please allow a moment for the blog to load. Preview what time does it start? The game kicks off at 5pm at Wembley Stadium where can I watch it? The match is live on Sky Sports Football or Sky Sports Main Event what are they saying? Steve Bruce. Expectation is huge here but that's why I went for experience. I thoroughly enjoyed the challenge of my 19 months here. Can we now top it off by getting where we want to be? Slavisa Jokinovic, we're the youngest team. We must try to dominate the situation and put them under stress. We're probably the team with more energy. Experience in life is important but it's not everything, all of us can make mistakes. Who is going to win? 
Villa 12 fifths draw 21 tenths Fulham 7 fifths follow the independent sport on Instagram here. For all of the best images, videos and stories from around the sporting world. Reuse content we've noticed that you are using an ad blocker. Advertising helps fund our journalism and keep it truly independent. It helps to build our international editorial team. From war correspondents to investigative reporters, commentators to critics. Click here to view instructions on how to disable your ad blocker, and help us to keep providing you with free thinking journalism, for free. Thank you for your support. How to disable your ad blocker for independent.co.uk ad block, ad block plus click the ad block slash ad block plus icon, which is to the right of your address bar. On ad block click don't run on pages on this domain. On ad block plus click enabled on this site to disable ad blocking for the current website you are on. If you are in Firefox click disable on independent.co.uk. Firefox tracking protection if you are private browsing in Firefox, tracking protection may cause the ad block notice to show. It can be temporarily disabled by clicking the shield icon in the address bar. Ghostery click the ghostery icon. In versions before 6.0 click whitelist site. In version 6.0 click trust site or add independent.co.uk to your trusted site list. In versions before 6.0 you will see the message site is whitelisted. Click reload the page to see your changes. U block click the U block icon. Then click the big power button to whitelist the current website, and its state will be remembered next time you visit the website. Then reload the page. Thank you for supporting independent.co.uk.